Some commuters will not be bothered about cakes or even the aircraft. It's day three of our series of special reports on communities on the brink of being wiped off by severe erosion. In this next special report, our correspondent Deji Badimosi takes us through the ravages of erosion in some communities in Anambra State, Southeast Nigeria. Welcome to what is believed to be the mother of all erosion sites in Nigeria, Nanka, a rural community in Anambra State. It stretches up to 10 kilometers and the depth is frightening. It is difficult to believe people once lived here, but in fact, they did. Get into it. It was up there. All these places were over land. That was, that was nothing like a erosion here. Seventy-year-old Michael Koye is a living witness of the gradual disappearance of the thriving community that inhabited this place. People lived here before. People lived here before. We used to go and fetch water here. There used to be a road here. The evidence is even there. The road is tarred. Vehicles could actually drive through this place to link up to the other village. But it's not possible to do all of that anymore. The locals have tried on their own part to fix this problem, especially when it started before it developed up to, up to this level. But all their efforts have just not yielded results. The biggest fear for the people of Anambra is that what happened here may spread to other erosion sites. And that fear is beginning to manifest in this erosion site at Nobi, another town in the state. What began as a small shallow gutter caused by flooding in this area has now turned into a massive gully, threatening an entire community. And no one is more threatened than this old man. Unfortunately, because Mr. Ikemefuna is blind, he cannot see how close he is coming to losing a home he struggled to build. Part of the building has caved into the gully. The block fence is gone, and in its place sits another one made of palm thatch. Obina, the blind man's son, says they are all very troubled. We are just uh, being taken risky because this place, with, uh, if land starts falling now, we, all of us will just run out so that if the land stops, then we'll come inside. If something happens to your house now mm. and the house falls down completely, mm. what are you going to do? Why are you going to stay? Nothing. We are going to stay just like that. No land, no every, no nothing, nothing. The paradox of the situation here is that this information board indicates contract for the fixing of the erosion sites has long been awarded by the federal government. But obviously, nothing has been achieved. And the state government says it is almost the same story at most of the sites the federal government has attempted to tackle in the state. We never even knew there were those sites, except when the House Committee on Environment came around to visit Anambra State and the erosion sites that the federal government is working on. Uh, that's when we sent people out to go talk to the uh, communities and see if they've seen anybody working on erosion sites. And uh, we were able to find a few of them. But what we found did not indicate that much money has been spent on these sites. With at least 1,500 erosion sites and 500 of them active, Anambra State is the erosion capital of Nigeria. And rather than wait for the central government's intervention, the state government is taking on some of the sites on its own. This massive site at Ipulobia is a good example. When the area was first heat, so many houses were washed away by the erosion. Today, the government is trying to salvage it. Over 400 million naira has been pumped into the project already, but from every indication, there's still no guarantee that these stones can stand the test of severe flood. But the government says it is praying they do. The government budgets at least 
uh, one, two billion every year, just on erosion, and uh, more than two billion, and uh, it's, it's, it's overwhelming. In our community, the story is that of hope and fear. Hope because these bamboo trees, which were planted by the people a long time ago, appear to be helping in checking the expansion of the erosion. But signs like this, this, and this are giving the local people serious cause for concern. Besides these bamboos, this thing would have gone cleared everywhere. They must pray the bamboo trees continue to hold out, because if they failed, there's no assurance the federal government will come to their rescue. Deji Badimasi, Channel's Television News.